Welcome to this video lecture on using total rows in Excel tables with filtering. In this Excel table, filters are turned on. We can see the drop down arrows next to the labels, and we have a slicer for day of the week. If we would like to also see a summary of sales for the data shown, we simply go to the Table Tools Design ribbon and turn on the total row here in the Table Styles option group. When I check that, I can then go to the bottom of my data, and you'll see we now have a total. And in the Sales Total column, we have a function that is totaling up. It is the sum function. But when you look on the formula bar, of course, you see that it's actually a version of the subtotal function that will sum up all of the sales for all of the data shown. The difference between using this subtotal function here and that total row option within an Excel table and using the auto sum function there is that when I start filtering my data, my total will also change. For example, if I just wanted to see, say, just the basic sales, I can see that the average basic sales for the period shown is $230,580. 38 and 76 cents. Well, if I change my filter, maybe I add complex to that, you can see my number changing. And that's the difference between using the auto sum function to summarize data at the end of a set of structured data. The total would not change using the auto sum function as it does when using this total row within an Excel table. So it makes it very nice to be able to summarize data based on the filtering mechanism that you're choosing to use. And of course, you can change between the different functions that are available within Excel.